welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Let's do this. What we got going on over here? It's a rum definitely review? a rum. <laughs> what told you that? <sighs> the smell. Oh. So this one's different. This one, I get like a dry wood. Kind of licorice-y. What? Why? Fisherman's friend. John always eats these stupid, nasty, little, in a tin, like, Altoids. Like, they're called Fisherman's Friend. Whenever he gets a sore throat, we have some. Yeah. And they're these little puke brown colored discs. And they taste Terrible. like tar. They're disgusting. But John it swears smells like by them. They him. help so much. Oh my God, they're gross. So gross. I That's what this smells like. I haven't had to use those in a long, long time. Since I've been drinking bourbon and rum, I don't get sick. He doesn't, that's true. Mm -hmm. It's kind of... Does that make it gross, though? I, th it's just that. Oh. Like, mm -mm. Mm. I don't like those. Mm. Huh. It's slightly smoky. Like, not like scotchy smoky, like charred wood smoky, like wet smoke. I, it's weird. I don't know. Wet smoke. Don't... Like when you put make, out a campfire? Yeah. Like if you pour water on huh. a campfire... Kind of ashy. Yeah. There's like a dark sweet fruit in there, but it's like real, real subtle and down, down deep in there. Dry or fresh? <sighs> Plum? Raisin? Prune? I'm not sure. I don't know what it is. Grape? Black grape? It could be grape. Oh. I feel like I'm putting notes in your head at this point. I'm not sure. I'm, not well. I'm gonna give That's it. That's not dark. I'm just kidding. That's a citrus. You better stop. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. So the fisherman friend note did not bring it down that much. Mm -mm. This is very palatable. Palatable. It's a big word for you. You're going to sleep on this couch tonight and keep it up. Better than this old mattress. Get a new one next week. Yeah, still got to wait a week. I'll just <laughs> more comfy. Um, kind of weird. With the notes that I got on the nose, I thought it was kind of going to be kind of bitter and charry and like funky, but this is very creme brulee. It's mm. very creamy vanilla. Um, very, very creamy vanilla. That's very heavy. Um, there's a slight licorice to it. Doesn't seem any heavier than normal. Just making an observation. Which couch? We got the old one or we got the new one? This ball. You're curling up on a ball in this no. one. <laughs> no, not the bourbon couch. Um. The speaking slight. of the couch, do I feel like I'm? Do I look like I'm further away than usual? Yeah. I'm like on the edge or something. Why? I'm probably. Don't be on the edge. Hopefully, I'm in the camera view or am I half out and half in? That'd be funny. Um. It's slightly anise -y. There is um, some anise in the Fisherman's Friend, so that kind of comes know. through. And it's kind of tannic, but it's in a good way. There's a little bit of toasted wood, but it like I, this is very, very palatable. It's a very nice, drinkable bourbon. Or, mm. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Rum. Oh, they got some It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. Sure has. Um, I'm impressed. I don't know what this is. This isn't anything I've ever had before, I don't think, mm. but this is good. Um, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Wow. So there's a tannic charriness that kind of hangs around, but it has a really nice finish. It hangs and it stays there. I mean, it's been there way longer than any other rum I've ever had. Uh, it's really nice that a little bit of vanilla sticks around and that dark, deep fruit is kind of there too. So... 
I'm, I'm going to give it a four out of five on the finish. I'm pretty impressed with the finish on this. The look is nice. It beat it up really nice. Um, it's got legs. I'm not super impressed with them, but again, it's rum, not bourbon. So there's that. Um, I feel like rum could have better legs. Yeah. But because it's made out of sugar. Sure it has a nice color to it. I'm gonna, it's like golden orange, coppery kind of, but I light like copper. Tangelo. He needs to stop. Mm. Um, it's, I mean, it's got a nice color. It's got a nice shimmer to it. It's pretty. Isn't there like a lemon orange blend or breed? Hybrid. Yeah, hybrid that. I don't know. We'll just Why say, are we talking about citrus? I don't right know. Now? Anyway, I'm, I'm going to give it a two. Okay. I have no idea what this is. before the reveal. No idea. Hmm, that smells good. It is. It smells very good. I've never had it up until now. Uh, this is out of Barbados. This has no coloring or sugar flavoring, anything added to it. Barbados is one of those islands They're that you particular. know you can trust. Yep, they don't mess around. Mount Gay, which this is, and Foursquare, which this is not, both do not add anything. And all the RL seals and Dorleys no. and they do. whatever else is part of them brands. None of them add sugar in Barbados, which I really love. So if I see Barbados, I know it's a good going to be a Wrong. good one. So this is Mount Gay Black Barrel. This is the bottle. Super small. Or my hands are really big. Who knows? Both. 1703, a black barrel. It is spelled R-U-M, not the R-U-H-U-M. Or R-O-N. Not that either. This small batch. You don't see that on... Run very, very often. often. I'm yeah. happy about that. Handcrafted. It has Master Blender Alan Smith on this one. So this is actually part of the older. This is an older mini. Well, and I think it's just cool that they put like a tax strip on this too. Yeah. It's a faux tax strip. Yeah, but it's, but pretty it's cool. there. So what would you rate the bottle? The bottle does look like this in a bigger mm -hmm. version. Um, I would give it a two. That's going to put you over 80. That'll be 82. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's a good rum. I like it. I'll buy a fifth of this one. Yeah, we Some haven't of them tried I wish any Mount there was in 50 and yeah. those that we have over here, but mm. well, yeah. You know, you can't win them all. I hear mixed things about them that it's bland. Sometimes, sometimes people say it's really good. It's just one of those brands that's overlooked, but they're everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of hard when it's that readily available. So this was introduced in the summer, I think, or fall of 2013. Um, in 2019, the Master Blender left Alan Smith. So this was 2019 or earlier. So this will be a little bit different than what you can find now, unless it has not if, unless it has the other Master Blender's name on it. So. In 2019, Alan Smith left, and it changed just a little bit. So this is so this one is a little bit younger than newer. This is a blend of two and seven year rums. That's weird. Double barreled, so. Some of it's barreled normal. Some of it's barreled in a heavy char barrel. So you've got to think maybe alligator, four or five char? I'd say five from what I see. It says deeply charred ex-bourbon barrels. So yeah, I would say that they're going to be probably the potent of the potent. These days, it's a blend of rum that has been aged in. This one is all, it looks like... We'll get it together. I'm, str I'm struggling. Words form sentences with him shortly. Uh, shortly. Pending. 
So rather than all the rum being aged in deeply ex bourbon barrels like this one is, nowadays, <laughs> I had it, I lost it. It is now a blend of not and heavily charred. But mm. the age these days is three to seven instead of two to seven. So the age went up a little bit. I wonder how consistent it is. We might have to do a side by side. Because mm. the new blender is a lady. a lady. I forgot her name. It'll come to me in a minute. And the newer one has a higher proportion of pot still rum into the blend. This is a blend of co double column, no, double pot still and column. The information's up there. We just gotta find it. We just <laughs> gotta form it into sentences. We've done what, four we'll videos so okay. far? I'm getting tired. He's getting tired. Hang on to your bootstraps. Trudy Ann Brinker is now the new blender. Got it. And it says well, she there it is. has wasted no time in stamping her own mark on it. Well, good. Hopefully she put her name on it so we can find the different model. Yeah. Go to our dusty stores and yeah, find, a, no. find one and then... We got another mini, so we'll use that. Oh, okay. And we'll find her bottle. But I want to keep my mini. We'll buy you more. That's what I like to hear. 82. I'm pretty impressed. I am too. It's decent and I don't think it's bland. No. It's not as... As frou frou and fruity and potent as it's got a some very rums that I've smell had, to but it. it's it's its own thing, and I'm I'm here for it. It's very nice. I ain't mad at it. No. Anything it's else got a you nice want to add? Thick flavor to it. Can you put some more sentences together? Or are you done? Tapped out for the night? I'm pretty tapped out. Okay, we're tapping out, guys. Making fun of me. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Mount Gay Black Barrel. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.